Josh must be excited to fight for your first title against Phil Sutcliffe. Yeah, I really can't wait now. All the training's done and um, just getting there on Saturday night and do, do the job. For all your fights so far in your career, you know, the odds have been stacked in your favour. You might have yeah. got in the ring knowing you're going to win, but it's how yeah. you looked. Is this time, is it different that people have got this as a 50-50? People like on the bookies, they've got it as a 50-50 fight, but like in my last fight, like I, I trained for 10 rounds and the, the fight before that, that never came through. I trained for 10 rounds before that as well, so... I'm always being, I'm always in the gym. I never take time off the gym, and um, I'm a p proper professional. I live live the life, and um, it's really can't wait. Yeah. Does it affect you at all in the dressing room with nerves that your brother's boxing earlier? Yeah, it did last well. It did last fight, but um, that was his debut. But I always get nervous, more nervous for for Callum really than I do for my own fight. But um, we're both in the same position again this time out, same as last time. So it's going to be both wins for us again. Is the key to this fight your skill and speed? Yeah, you could say that, yeah. And uh, fast punches. And uh, that's why I've been working on the gym. And um, he's, he's a come forward strong fighter, which is... Uh, I, at the end of the day, if, if people say, oh, I'm, I'm the underdog, I, I like being the underdog. It makes me more, want it more. So this is definitely my first title going to be being at home to uh, Gisborne. I mean... People go on about Phil Sutcliffe's power, but I think you stopped your last four opponents yourself. Yeah, so are you yeah. happy for people to say you're yeah. not a puncher? Yeah, I can say, say what I want until, uh, until I get in the ring. But um, like I can say, my last four or five fights, I've been getting them out there. I didn't mean like, whatever com comes around, really. But um, the, the power's definitely there. I feel like I'm getting stronger. I've changed my training up now a bit. I've uh, got new strength con condition coaching so at mass body. So... Um, it's all came together. I feel the best shape I've ever been in, physically and mentally, and um, it's really can't wait now. If Phil Sutcliffe hits you clean early and you take his best shots, do you yeah. think he could run out of ideas? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully he will, because uh, he won't know where shots are going to come from. So, and, uh, I think he's uh, underestimating me a bit. I think he's, he thinks that he's going to get one over on me, but we'll see about that on Saturday. Five years since you won the ABA title, do you feel you've yeah. come a long way since then as a person and a boxer? Definitely, as a, as a yeah, definitely. I've uh, came since Dean Powell signed me up as a pro. I've uh, always dreamt of these days since I was nine, me and my brother. So this is time to put it into perspective now and do the job. It'd be quite poignant, you know, looking at things. So you were the last yeah. boxer he signed professionally. Yeah, I was the last boxer signed as a professional, and uh, hopefully I'll do him proud.